You spent the last 12 years working for Citroën. First as CFO, then CEO, then in November last year, you were made CEO. Was it true you took your time when founder James Liang asked you to take over the company? Yeah, uh, when in 2015, uh, James told me that uh, uh, he would like me to take on the CEO position, and I feel our team is still very young. Mm -hmm. uh, so in order to make sure our team is highly motivated, uh, two of us had a transition plan for one year. What was the transition plan? Uh, the transition plan is for me to step in more, and then James focused on the big strategy, and uh, that worked out very well. Right now, James, which is the founder, is now the chairman. Mm. What is decision making like now within the company? How involved is he? Oh, both of us are very involved. I think we make an excellent team. Uh, James is an IT engineer, so he's very strong in uh, technology advancement. So he spends a lot of time with the engineering team. Another thing he is very good is he is a visionary. So if he put his vision into the action and plan, and you execute it, yeah, our team leap forwards very quickly. But for this vision, uh, I think we need a person at a team to execute very rapidly and make sure everything in our vision is uh, executed mm -hmm. very rapidly. Mm -hmm. When it comes to acquisition, who makes the call? Uh, we have an uh, investment committee. Uh, so James and I and our CFO, our BUCEO are all involved. You're 48 years old, you were born in Shanghai, you went to the University of Florida on a scholarship. Mm -hmm. uh, you worked for KPMG, applied materials in the US before returning to China mm -hmm. to work for C-Trip. How would you describe your leadership and your management style? Uh, I think for uh, me, uh, compared to a lot of uh, male leaders, uh, I would very much like to see our partner and C-Trip is in a win-win uh, situation. Mm -hmm. So a lot of discussion, instead of I'm killing you or you're killing me, <laughs> I always try very yeah. hard to put myself into other people's shoes and see how we can do best to make the deal that is win-win. And so far, uh, that strategy works very well. Has your overseas experience helped shape your leadership style? Absolutely, how? absolutely. Uh, I think in order to penetrate into a globalized market, Mm -hmm. Understanding the culture and understanding your uh, customers as well as your partners becomes very important. I have the opportunity to live with my professor's family, uh, of four of them, my professor, his wife, uh, their children, four of them are consuls, are lawyers. Uh, every day when we had dinner, they taught me about globalization, mm -hmm. uh, founding father's uh, idea, mm -hmm. uh, what is the U.S. Constitution. So I learned a lot from my experience in the USA and have a great appreciation uh, for the people uh, in the USA. And that's why I, when we build a globalized uh, team, uh, I think we'll be able to find the right people to understand the Chinese culture, also understand the culture around the world. Mm. As a woman CEO, you put in place some incentives to help your women staff mm. retain their jobs, and not to mention help them to be better mothers. Mm -hmm. Why is that important to you? Yeah, uh, so I am a working mother, and I think uh, females are very smart. They represent more than 50% of the buying power. Mm -hmm. uh, having the product manager as a female really helps our customers as well. Uh, so c takes leadership in cultivating the female's leadership. So for example, when a female is pregnant, we give them taxi for free. Mm -hmm. When the baby is born, we give them 800 as a gift. When a child goes to school, we give them 3,000 as education fee. Uh, when they are uh, coming back, if they choose to work at home, we make it possible for them. And on top of it, we also build a wonderful facility mm -hmm. for our young employees to bring their children to the nursery. It's an on-site nursery. Uh, the parents can uh, go to have lunch with the kids uh, during lunch break. Mm -hmm. All that helps our employees to be very focused on their job without worrying about my kids is uh, nobody takes up my children. Talk, it takes away the anxiety uh, from our So employees. just out of curiosity, what's the percentage like a women employees versus 
male employees in your company? Sure, uh, we have more than 50% uh, female employees and we have uh, more than 50% middle management uh, as the female leadership. Is it because you secretly think women are better workers? <laughs> Not really, <laughs> I think we just need to uh, encourage women to be more assertive, uh, to give them the equal opportunity. I think they are just as smart as male leaders. Uh, if we give them the encouragement, they can step in and contribute more uh, to the business. Mm. And finally, as a new CEO of Seatrip, what is your vision for the company? What impact do you want to make? Mm. I think not only Seatrip is a technology company, uh, I always feel that travel uh, is such a great method mm -hmm. to bring uh, the people around the world together. Uh, so while we are bringing Chinese people from China to the world, we're entrusted with a mission that we need to bring the best culture of China to the world. Mm -hmm. And when we bring the customers from the world to China, again, uh, they are going to bring the best culture of the world to China. And through this journey, we can bring people with different background together and bring peace to the world. And that was Jane Sun, CEO of Seatrip. Hope you've enjoyed the program. Do check us online at managingasia.cnbc.com for more exclusive leadership insights. Until next time, I'm Christine Tan. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Christine Tan, and thanks for watching Managing Asia on CNBC Live. You can check out more of our great content by clicking on the videos on screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the very best in feature programming. Thanks for watching.